Welcome back, my lambs. That's right. Forgive me, Father's done. I finished it. It's over. Till the second one comes out, at least. So we're back. Let's play some World of Horror, shall we? Alright, you know the drill. New story. I kind of like the red and blue. Let's go. This color. This looks completely drab. And yeah, you know, let's get in there. We're going to Alexandria, or something from Alexandria. Everything deals extra damage. We got a medical history. Let's go. We got this lovely little lady. We got safety in numbers. Was this due? Uh, we got plus one max reason at the end of the mystery. If you don't have at least two followers, you lose two reason. All right, we'll have to get ourselves some people. Discharge this. And uh, let's gain 20 experience points. Sounds good. We got a medical kit. Cool. Looks good. 20 experience. No rituals. No spells. Um, we got one. We got this guy. Double available funds. Hell yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's just a nice little, nice little salary man. Thanks. Thanks, salary man. Uh, well, what do we got? Brittle. There's about extra experience bandages, but each did. All right. Let us just confirm it. Randomize and continue. Perfect. Good stuff. We got the Mega Merc shirt on. What's it like outside? It's going to rain, unfortunately. Hey, an empty bottle. Good for us. Let's go get our free experience. Uh, well, first, let's fill our water. And let's... Um, yeah, a little small experience boost. And we changed our clothes. Let's see what we're gonna wear today. And we're gonna be a star today. Let us get on with it, shall we? We click this so we don't. There we go. All right. We got some bad things going around. What do we got today? We got the Far Out Festival. We got the Alarming Arms. We got the Crimson Cape. Uh, bad Verses. The Perilous Parable of the Particular Painting. I don't know if I... Let's play around with some arms first. There's a bunch of arms. They've been strangling weird people. Been finding dead in the apartment building. That's the way it goes. All right, we gotta investigate the hospital, but first we're gonna go to school. Let's see if we can get ourselves a new friend, shall we? You wanna join us? They do, student F. Chief for pharmacy, thank you, student F. What about you? The student A say. Plus one strength? Hell yeah, look at all of our friends. We can just force them. Uh, I'm not gonna share a creepy story. Let's play this gossip though. All right. Thanks. Let's leave. Good stuff. That was productive. Let's go to the hospital, investigate first. And that's how we're going to do that. Look at our pals. All right. A pale woman wearing a nurse's outfit stops you. Today, we are running blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so kind to help the community? Um... Yes. We got lucky. You feel like they took more blood than they should. You feel weak, but fulfilled. Knowing you are helping. Oh yeah, 0% doom? I'm into that. Uh, well, let's go investigate the hospital once more. You meet your friend, and she has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Let's ask. Hell yeah. Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and strange infections are helping. But they kill the mood. They leave the place. Alright, we got some experience. We lost some reason. Alright. Anatomical Museum Archive display a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. Hell yeah. Uh, that's pretty rad. Uh, what do we got? Bigger strength. 
What do we have bigger decks? Nothing. Nothing is good. Let's, uh... Let's see what this guy's got for us. Flashlight, compass... We just pump up on that. Because this compass is a C, flashlight is a B. We're just gonna get the compass, put that. That's on. Let's get a weapon from the hardware store. Uh, crowbar. Or shovel. What is this? A trinket? Usable? Technology? Deals 2 damage to target enemy, 8 damage to other. Oh, cool. Um. I couldn't afford it. Okay. Time to just investigate. We're going in unarmed. They see a ghost of heartbreak boy, of a, a heartbroken boy appears in the streets at night. It's just an urban legend. Or is there some truth to it? Like, well, we don't have any holy candles, so let's to fail the strength. We get bopped. Plan to wait uh, the entire night observing the spot where you're supposed to, uh, the ghost would appear, but you fall asleep. You wake up with a cold bench, your body aching badly. That's because we slept on a cold bench. All right, apartment third floor. Nobody will use the windows to escape from the murder scene. This is on the third floor. Be very tough for them to do so. Loud knocking wakes you in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the voice from behind the door. Uh, let's see what's up. Oh, we failed our dexterity. Before you can answer, the door letter box suddenly opens, and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming, cur uh, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Uh, is this the best? Was this the stamina? Alright, we'll just keep... Yeah, we'll, we'll drink it later. You notice an odd placement in the ventilation shafts. So they're too small for anyone to crawl through, though. But if you had jellified arms... If only we had... What was our neighbor saying? Alright, you knock on the door and wait. Hey, really busy day. Let's hang out some other day, okay? Alright. Doesn't want to hang out with us. A woman jumps from the apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She's taking a shower, and suddenly the shower starts spraying blood. A trail of blood leads to the dark apartment. Let's, uh... Like bathroom, we're gone. We know nothing. We are kind of dumb. We're very charismatic, but we dumb. Uh, alright. The smell of blood makes you weak. You think that's what the nurse took our blood for? To use in the showers? I bet. You should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. What did the police miss? Per bath, you think all, uh... And you think of all possible leads so far. You're very tired. Maybe some ice cold water is a good idea. Um... Let's do it. Okay, your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath and you can feel the cold coming on. Oh, we're just straight up dying. Your neighbor's complaining about her underwear missing. But where could it be? They're taking the underwear. While looking around the ransacked room, recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin, ghastly pale yellow color. It seems disturbing, you struggle to look at it. Hey, we got charisma though. Unintimidated by the painting. It gives you a new insight on the madness that possessed your friend. Thank you for the experience. Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Alright. We don't need any of that. Let's go through these corridors and check out what's what. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It's slowly standing up. What's up, Twisted Corpse? Three reason damage? Look at this. Uh, leave an offering. Deal seven damage to a ghost. Uh, okay. Sever their ties to the world. Two damage. And I guess I just... 
do this, right? We take a pop, a huge pop, then I uh, and sever it three times. <laughs> Got him. Just had to burn some money to get rid of a uh, good old twisty there. Let's check the building uh, to find out where the place we've all vents, where all the vents are connected. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's check. Check the boiler room. Hey, it's Mr. Ooh, what's up? Your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He struggles to come up with a satisfying ending to his newest story. Uh, let's share our experience. That's fine. Incredible, he shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing this story will be a huge hit. He pays you a token of appreciation. We'll take some funds, thank you very much. We lose a bit of experience, but that's okay. Every room is connected by vents coming from an unused boiler room. Could it be? I have a feeling it certainly could be. You enter a dark boiler room and trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you smell something rotten. Let's check the vent. Got him. Hey, we got a tiny key. Thank you very much for the tiny key. You almost fall to the ground when you see a wide open stare of a dead pervert, his elongated limbs stretching out and disappearing into the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key and a centipede and another eye. All right, let's check out the tiny key. It's a tiny key. After the police have arrived, the whole building was searched following the arms. The detectives find the body of a man stuck in the ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of tenants. Gross, dude. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of unfortunate gas leak. Unfortunate arm leak. Alright. That's the stuff. We can gain our level. What's bad about this? The water level suddenly increased. You say it's slowly sinking. What does it do? Exploring the seaside locations has a chance of inflicting drenched. We're gonna, get, gonna be like Andrew WK and get wet. What do we got here? Improvise, discipline. We gain one stamina. Every pass skill check. That's pretty good. Natural ability to guide others. Uh, throw in combat. Uh, I think we're just gonna do discipline, right? And then we can just get. Get luck here. We just want more luck. The stat we don't know exists. Uh, or should we should just get like more charisma. No, we're just gonna get luck. Good. Uh, let's go. Drink this first. Lose. Keep our empty bottle. Go home. Take the key. In there, it's nighttime. Can't see anything. Hell yeah. Bath time. Fill up our water. Uh, do we want more experience? Stamina. We probably just want some more reason, right? Get our brain power up. Nice stuff. We got a bottle of water again. Keep us going. Free value. Something we definitely need in this. Uh, let's go and do. Got the arms done. Crimson cape versus. Let's do a painting, shall we? We've only ever done this one once, I think. So I'm uh, interested to see it some more. I think it's one of the newer ones. Perilous parable, a particular painting, a damp looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro. A famous painter you were once a huge fan of has replied to a message you sent him last supper, Summer. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You were going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? Alright, let's go. You finally arrived at the mansion's gate. You are afraid you will never be able to remove the lingering, musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Now, where is everyone? 
Where are they at? Cool. Uh, new soundtrack for this bit is really sick. The mirror. You catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. We get doomed. We got here. It's nighttime. It's a mansion. All right. Cool. You continue your search. Whilst walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. That's the mystery. Should we just keep on going through the mansion? Let's see what's in the mansion still. Suddenly. A wall in front of you, uh, of withers and falls apart, revealing a hole ridden monstrosity. Gross as hell. What the hell is this thing? Well, speaking of what's this thing, let's assess the situation. Let's learn about him. Alright, distract the enemy. Faster combat action for the duration of this encounter. It failed. Lose a random ally. Best. Uh. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. Let's all attack him, shall we? Alright. We get bopped? Uh, perfect. What do we have here? Monster mail, weak against blunt. Uh, no special skills. Once a detective investigating a missing person's case, now he's slowly turning into a monster seeking those who have also found cursed jade statues. Goddamn. Clear this, and we can do like that. Oh. Kick him up. Do a lot of damage. We're gonna hopefully kick him to death here. There we go. Did a little uh, jujitsu on the holy man. Perfect. Let's continue our search. That's us. With the little glasses. Hanging out. Let's take a look what's up. Alright, while wandering through the woods, you discover a strange carving in one of the trees. By the looks of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? We need a camera. No, let's decipher. We did it! We deciphered it. Alright. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Well, let's go. Fairy Blair Witch. Alright, you hear something sound of glass breaking somewhere in the mansion. Uh, advance the mystery. Emi is here. Okay, painting studio. Forest. Uh, well, let's continue the mansion with Emi. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Uh, let's check out the mask. Hell yeah, one look at the familiar design you saw an occult book. You decided to take a look with you. Uh, is this slot B? So we can put this on, right? Yeah, we'll put, we'll put on the mask. I'll put on the demon mask. Look how cute I look. Hell yeah. There's countless paintings hanging on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circles. Alright. You don't recognize any of them, but the technique used is unmistakable. Yuri Shoshan painted these. Uh, if we go down to the work shed... We need a light source. Okay. Uh, at the same time, the distance, there's an old work shed. And even though the surrounding is now overgrown in its heyday, it must have been used to store some gardening equipment. Inside is really dark, and you don't have the time to search the place closely. Let's grab a flashlight. Alright, you find a toolkit button nearby the door. Flashlight seems to be the best choice, but the sudden crash coming from the mansion prevents you from investigating the workshop. Okay. That's, uh, number B, so you put that instead of my mask. Yeah, we'll just have it out for now. Uh, paintings, alien landscapes. Let's, uh, hang out with her, right? Boarded up building. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress one stormy night. She broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Let's check that. I've found you at last. 
<laughs> the jump scare. Finally, you find a key in one of the desk drawers. You head towards the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. Okay. Uh, well. We're gonna hang out with whoever this is. Hearing a shuffling coming from behind. Oh, are we? We're not injured, are we? No. Okay, good. Hearing a shuffling coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls there. When you try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room. Keep going. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. Six damage. It's four damage. So I guess like we have better. We got better punch now, or better kick. We're just gonna try and kick this thing away forever. There we go. We kicked all the dolls. Got strong feet. Hell yeah. Hey, you must grab. Uh, Emi, who almost faints at the sight of the room you both enter. Every visible surface is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. Yuricho-san sits alone in front of an empty canvas. Yuricho-san smiles when he notices you two. Ah, my biggest fans and Miss Emi is here. My biggest fan and Miss Emi is here. He stands up and comes closer looking at you from beyond his dark glasses. Would you please be kind and wait at the foyer? I need Miss Emi to help me with the latest painting. Emi looks at you surprised but doesn't say anything. No. No, we're staying at the private rooms. I'm not waiting with you in the foyer, bro. The whole building begins to shake, uh... As you enter the room, suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood a second ago. Noticing the arcane sy symbols painted on the stone? Take a step closer. Uh, we're just gonna touch the stone. Hell yeah. Oh, when your fingers touch the stone, the symbols disappear. That's a good thing, right? No, you can't leave Emmy with that creepy man no matter how famous he is. You quickly go back to the room and gasp. Ichiro san prepared uh prepares to stab Wait, what? Ichiro san prepares to stab unconscious Emi. Ichiro san looks at you and smiles. Can't stop my work now. The painter the painted monster reaches from the canvas and grabs surprised Ichiro san by his neck. No. This is not what was supposed to happen. Oh, shit. <laughs> How am I supposed to kill this thing? Um... Let's investigate. Well, we're gonna use the distract button. And I guess I'll, I can't use the dodge. Uh... What does this do? Brace for impact. Lowers the incoming damage by half and ignores any special attack. Can't use that either. Um, this thing's not like extra spiritual, right? It's just... I'm gonna punch. I'm gonna kick. Guess I can... There we go. Oh, we need fire. That's the problem. We got a broken jaw now. That's really bad. Um... We'll use this. We'll use this. Throw this at the enemy. That doesn't seem good. Um, okay. So it's an Eldritch thing. Irichiro Sen has found a way to connect us with the other dimensions using his canvases as portals. Ah, uh, well. I mean. I'm going to try and kick it to death. I'm dead. The garbage... The trash man's killed us. And that's the final straw. The painting was too powerful. And that's that. Thanks for coming by. 
there'll be more later on. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.